So do we need an extra shot after getting two shots of Pfizer vaccine? And what is the difference between the first dose and the second dose of the vaccine? And can you get COVID even after getting the two doses of Pfizer vaccine? We'll answer all these questions for you at the end of this video, so stay tuned. So we'll be sharing our experience of getting the second dose of Pfizer vaccine, also the after effects of having the Pfizer vaccine, the second dose of Pfizer vaccine with you. So today is the day finally we are going for our second dose of vaccine. We had our first dose of vaccine 21 days before and uh, after for Pfizer, we are getting Pfizer's vaccine. If you have watched our last video, like for the first dose of vaccine, if not, then here's the link. Just watch that. Like all our experience, how we got our first dose of vaccine and after 21 days, we are getting the second dose of vaccine. Usually, or like for Pfizer, there is a gap of 21, 21 days, days, right? And for Moderna, it is 28 days. 28 days. Uh, and Johnson & Johnson is just one dose of vaccine that's done. Uh, so how about you? Are, are you excited about that or nervous? How are you I, I am kind of excited, but I'm also nervous because we've been hearing a lot about um, all the side effects and things that are happening after the second dose. Let's see how it goes for us. Yeah, that's true. I mean, uh, the second dose is much more having much more side effects as compared to the first one. So after first one, we did had few chills and headaches, but then it it was for a day or two and then things went back to normal. But yeah, for the second dose, I do know I have, I mean, all my friends who have got the second dose of vaccine have shared the almost the same experience of getting chills, fever and body ache and fatigue. So uh, let's just hope yeah. <laughs> things go well for us. Uh, right now it's 9.30 over here and our vaccine time is 10 a.m. So we have to rush to our destination to get to the CVS family to get our vaccine. We'll share our experience once we yeah. are back from there and uh, if we have any side effects, we do. Tanya is already feeling feeling feverish yeah. and cold. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's see. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm and then submit the sample. Oh, I see. So we're just waiting for the, you know, the sign up because they're preparing the vials and stuff. So, uh, yeah, we'll sign you up in a second, okay? Or in a... Okay. Soon, soon. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, are you... Right, right from Putin, yeah. Tanu? Yeah. I think we both are going to get at the same time again. Yeah, again. Yeah. There. Yeah. I'm not tall enough. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Excited? Yes. <laughs> Once you add 100 to it, how much is it? Hi, is this your first or second? Okay, what's your last name? Yeah, I'm Okay, I don't I'm next. Oh yeah. How are you? Good. Okay. First dose or second? Second. second. So it looks like they are not able to get my tracking number and she's going to the pharmacy and check again if she can find out the same number or track down my ID. Hi.
So finally we are done with our second dose of COVID vaccine. Fully excited. Till now. Fully jake. vaccinated. Fully vaccinated. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen once we are yeah, back home yeah. after My a couple of hours. My arm is already sore. <laughs> <laughs> so we are back after having our second dose of Pfizer vaccine. And yeah. Oh no. Mine is on the left hand side. So uh, for me it's not hurting at all i mean it's completely fine i don't even feel like i got an injection but for tanya it started hurting a lot as yeah, soon as she got yeah. that as soon as she pricked the needle i just started getting the pain and yeah it is a little sore already but yeah i mean little soreness after getting the injection is fine but then it yeah, might be pain. at a wrong site or wrong location i don't know what but yeah, yeah it was paining yeah. uh, it's a little Which, better. Yeah, a yeah. little better. Okay. But it is paining. Yeah. So yeah, it's paining, and let's see. Fingers crossed. I mean, we don't know how and what is going to happen moving forward. Uh, the after effects of, as we said earlier, like the after effects of second dose of vaccine is like really bad as compared to the first one. So let's see what happens. Yeah, when I asked the lady at that vaccination who was giving me the vaccine, um, I asked her that how uh, are the side effects with the second vaccine and she was like, I hope it is just like uh, the first one. I hope it is not bad. I actually got no nervous after that because I mean the way she was saying it is like, you know, it's going to be very bad. So there was one lady who had a temperature of 100.6 or 100, approximately 100 and they just sent her back home. Yeah, they didn't give her they, the they, they initially asked her to wait for some time so that her temperature, if she is coming out walking or for some XYZ reason if the temperature was because of that they uh, made her wait for some time in the ac and then they checked her temperature again the temperature was the same yeah. so they just sent her back yeah. home like they are not going to give the vaccine to anyone who is above a normal range of temperature yeah, yeah it's it's really great feeling to have like yeah, uh, i don't know what's going to happen but at least that kind of mental peace and mental uh, satisfaction that okay yeah. we are somewhat protected <laughs> by a vaccine yeah. so yeah let's see so it has been six hours since we have got our vaccine and uh, initial four hours were fine but then after that my arm where i got the shot is like really really sore uh, same as for tanya and then i slept i mean i was feeling so uh, like fatigue and tired uh, that I slept for last two hours I was sleeping but yeah uh, it's I mean nothing else but yeah it's just feeling so much I'm feeling so much tired that's it let's see how next hours are going to be like so it's been almost 24 hours since we got our second dose of Pfizer vaccine uh, last night was uh, not perfect but yeah i had like really severe pain in the hand where i got the injection and uh, i mean it's strange i wasn't feeling cold or uh, i wasn't feeling even feverish but my body was getting hot so uh, but i wasn't like it wasn't stopping me from sleeping or like making me uncomfortable or something like that so that's for me the but tanya you you I have a very sore arm and I'm having a lot of headache. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's paining really bad, but at least I'm not feeling uh, feverish. But my head is like really in, I'm in a lot of pain. So this is second day and 2 p.m. And you can see Tanya inside waving her hand. She is... <laughs> and yeah, I don't have any more symptoms now. Uh, or uh, like after effects of vaccine uh, i'm feeling a bit fatigued but yeah that's it for my side but yeah tanya mm, is having a bit of fever or like she's feeling feeling feverish 
and then she is also having a severe headache so today is the second day after we took the covid vaccine so how are you feeling my experience was completely different from hers i only had a sore arm and a little bit of fatigue that's what i felt but she had a completely different experience wherein she was feeling a lot of yeah i was having a lot of headache and it was severe and i was also having fever a little bit of yeah, fever yeah the fever was around 100 101 yeah it was around around 100 yeah, yeah around and 100. uh yeah and i think uh, mostly the sore arm was there for both of us yeah for so. my for even for me uh on the day i got the vaccine that night i was feeling feverish but fever wasn't there i mean i wasn't feeling uncomfortable or, yeah. or i wasn't even feeling like having a fever the i was i was able to feel my body as hot but uh, i don't think there was like fever or like having that feeling of feverish or feeling sick i wasn't feeling sick at all so that was our experience yeah and i think you slept well yeah yeah i slept yeah. well on the, yeah, the day i got the body done. was warm yeah yeah it it was just the fatigue that was troubling yeah. me and i wasn't feeling like getting up from my bed for a very very long time so i was just lying down and giving a complete rest to my body that's what i did for yeah, two so days yeah so how are you feeling today today i am like completely refreshed i don't feel even the even the pain in my arm is completely gone the only the side where i got the injection even i when i press that only that's the part that is paining but apart from that i am completely fine what about you i am still feeling sore in my arm i'm having trouble like lifting it um uh, and along with that i think that headache is still there i'm okay on the fatigue there's no fatigue anymore as such but yeah there is still the headache and the soreness in the arm yeah I'm everyone is it will be better way to more yeah i mean everyone has got their a different body type right everyone has got a different body so the after effects of vaccine are completely different and varies from body to body like every person has got a different body uh, we were mentally fully prepared with all the after effects because all the symptoms that we have read on the internet or like all the reviews that we have read we were mentally prepared for the worst yeah. but uh, lucky enough yeah. we only felt like few of those symptoms after yeah. the face of the vaccine right 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 we didn't have very severe chills or severe thing we, so we read a lot about them before we went for the second dose but yeah i mean it was not very very bad it was okay so the next question or like the very important question that even we had in our mind before getting the first dose of vaccine or like uh, before even getting vaccinated was that whether we need an additional dose of vaccine even after getting the two doses of vaccine so would you like to answer <laughs> so um, i think as per whatever news is being shared they are saying especially for pfizer because we took pfizer so we're just sharing the uh, reports about that uh so uh it seems that after a year of taking the second dose of the vaccine you need you may need to get a booster shot so uh that is still up in the air i mean we don't we are not sure about it but that is what we are uh, reading so that it will just boost your immunity and continue to uh, keep you safe from covid Yeah I mean it's not yet declared but yeah, yeah I think moving forward for cup next not only next year but for next couple of years every year we will be requiring an additional dose of like extra booster or something till the time we don't eliminate corona completely from our environment or like from all the bodies that we have in So the second important question that we come across or like we also had this question was that uh, what is the difference between the first dose of vaccine and the second dose of vaccine so uh, it's really funny because when i went inside getting my second dose i was just looking out for uh, the difference or like what is the difference between or uh, they are injecting yeah. different people so is there any difference yeah, or are there any different how injections how do they know that they have to give this person the first dose and the second dose so So the answer is pretty interesting. Yeah, so uh it seems that the contents of both the doses are exactly the same. And uh so this is what uh, those people told us, the people who vaccinated us. So they told us that uh, the content of both the doses are the same. It's only about the boost in immunity, the percentage of boost in immunity that the first dose and the second dose give you. So the first one gives you I think around 70-75% and with the second dose it boosts your immunity up to 95-97% which Pfizer 
is saying is that which is interesting no, no, to know because i always felt like the second dose yeah, is going to be yeah, different from the first one but yeah they both are the same the content of both the vaccines are the same right yeah so this comes down to the final question and the most important question is that can we get covid even after getting fully vaccinated which is a really important question and a lot of you including us had this doubt and like had this question that can we get covid because whenever i talk to someone in my family or someone else or some of my friends they used to say like that person is was fully vaccinated even then he got he or she got uh, corona so the answer of this question is that yes you can get covid even after getting the second dose or like even after getting fully vaccinated with any vaccine that you are taking in the reason being these vaccines are designed not to immune you from covid completely they only work or the only purpose of this vaccine is to prevent hospitalization and death so the only target that these vaccines are doing is only that you shouldn't or like to prevent you from getting to hospital or to prevent death that is the only purpose whole and sole purpose yeah, of these vaccine not a cure for the disease there it's not a cure it's just that it is going to uh, you may get covid but those symptoms may not be so severe that you require hospitalization so even after getting fully vaccinated you definitely need to wear your so mask and you need to you need to follow all the protection safety. guidelines that safety guidelines that you have been following reason being that it might not affect you as much because you are vaccinated it might prevent you from hospital hospitalization and death but you can always carry that virus along with you and you can give it to someone else that you get in touch with so you definitely have to wear your mask till the time till the time all the guidelines the cdc guidelines they don't say you to remove it so uh, we want to end this video here and uh, just want to encourage everyone to please go ahead and get vaccinated and please be safe and follow all safety precautions with or without the vaccine and just take care and be safe so yeah take care wherever you are and do share this video with all your family and friends so that they can be motivated and can clear all the doubts that they have towards vaccine and they can like proactively get vaccinated from wherever whenever it is possible for them We'll see you in our next video. Till then, take care and stay safe. And we are fully vaccinated. And we love. We are fully vaccinated, which is nice. So yeah, I we hope everyone is safe and take care. Bye bye.